When the eclipse happens, we know the temperature will drop a bit and humans will be looking to the sky. But how will it impact plants and animals? News Channel 5's Jessica Newton visited the Nashville Zoo and Cheekwood to see how nature will respond. At Cheekwood, the focus is usually on the flowers, but on the 21st, many people will ignore the blossoms and turn their eyes to the skies. Usually closed on Mondays, Cheekwood will be hosting an eclipse viewing party. Everything we do here is sort of elevated and enhanced with music and food and, and activities. So. As for the flowers, they shouldn't be impacted by the eclipse. So plants, just like humans, develop circadian rhythms. That means they know when it's daytime or nighttime, regardless of whether the sun is shining or not. The, the plants really, really aren't going to notice. But what about other things in nature, such as animals? Now here at the zoo, they're asking for your help to observe anything that animals may do strangely during the eclipse by either sharing on social media or on a special app. <laughs> An eclipse like this hasn't happened in the zoo's lifetime, and there's very little research on how an eclipse can impact animals, so they'll be watching closely. We really don't know what's going to happen with animals when the total eclipse happens. For people watching from their neighborhoods, they could notice some changes. When it starts to get darker outside, you'll be listening more than watching. It. Bugs chirping, frogs croaking, even owls hooting. But at the zoo may be the best place to see animal behavior firsthand. We have birds that may start nesting. We have some animals that may start pacing or moving into their um, evening areas. The first 5,000 guests will get free solar eclipse glasses at the zoo. But when their eyes aren't focused on the eclipse, the animals could provide a show. And crowdsourcing what the guests see could give experts a new idea of how an eclipse impacts the animal world. So you have about an hour and a half leading up to that to really observe animals as it becomes this false night and then again as it becomes a false dawn again after the total eclipse. In Nashville, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. To send the zoo information on the animals, you can tag them on social media or download the iNaturalist app and join the Nashville Zoo Eclipse Event Project.